That's a smart way of telling them to stop you. Well, well. What do we have here? People in the area are starting to talk about you too much. Impossible not to find you. I already am. And we're not even there. That name. It's been ages since anyone has referred to me by that name. What has happened to me is time and the world of men. Decisions and trust in those who did not deserve it. The lack of determination to cut necks when I had the opportunity to do so, and the failure to purify and fire all those who now persecute us while they were still fighting amongst themselves. I am not the proud queen you knew, either literally or figuratively. Nothing of the vital person you knew remains in me. Centuries of torture, persecution, and death of my friends and fellow beings have turned me into another person. I'm not here to catch up, that's for later. Fate is not to be trifled with. You are all like knives scraping a pot, a constant headache, inducing nuisance that must stop in order to bring peace to the timeline. We will meet again soon, but what I'm looking for now is more important to me than your mission or anyone else's. When I find it, I will contact you. Give me Amagin's talk, and when we meet again, I will be part of your team, as he was in the past. Now is not the time to explain myself to you. San Francisco is so cool. And it's gallery is the time we live in now is different, Mill. So Do not trust your memory, although you can trust that I will not harm you as long as you are useful to me. Don't worry about this. It will be more useful in my hands. Oh, I am sure Amagin asked you to investigate the basement of the cathedral. Bring me with you if you are willing to visit the place. I also felt something ominous is happening under this building. You're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Hello, Father. I don't believe we've met. What brings you to my golden cathedral? Castle Uliver, according to the Archbishop, this is where we'll find the Templars. You must be Commander Tacitus. My name is... We have a child in our care. One who's been possessed by a magical creature. The Archbishop said you might be able to help him. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry.
Bring the child here. This is quite the complicated situation. A goblin and a human child forced to inhabit the same body. Before we take this any further, there's something you should know. You did me a favor a long time ago. You knew me as Valath. I'm flattered that you remember me, Millisbane. Yes, you were not the most useful ally in the past. You knew me as Valath. I hope you will remember in the future that I helped you despite the fact that you were not loyal to me, Mil Espain. In the other world, I was no one. I would never rise above my station. Here as Templar, I have power, true power, as long as the church endures. The gold in our kingdom made us able to create rich associations on the surface. We started by lending money and protecting people on the journey to the Holy Land and established ourselves as one of the most powerful organizations in the world. It allows me to continue to serve my people while hiding my people in our midst. The goblin has claimed the child's body, but the child still struggles against it. The battle between them is what's causing this catatonia. There's an old Morian ritual. It won't solve the problem by itself, but it will tell us if there's a way to separate the two souls. I need to prepare a few things before we start. When magic beings are involved, it is wise to be discreet. There's a cabin near the castle that I use when I need some privacy. Meet me there when you're ready to begin the ritual. Oh, one more thing. This ritual is powerful and will draw the attention of any demons nearby. Be ready for a fight. wrong? Did the ritual work? I'm afraid there's nothing to be done. No, it worked. There is one way to separate Lalo from the goblin. We could remove the mask. But that would kill Lalo. Exactly. If the child and the goblin can't be separated from one another, then they both need to accept their new circumstances. Wait. You're giving up. No, I'm saving two lives. If Lalo and Traste keep struggling against each other, both will continue to suffer. Do you understand? Both of you? Good. Now you should leave, all of you, before the rest of the Templars start asking questions you can't answer. I'm sorry, my friend. This isn't at all what I thought would happen. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott. 
I had hoped both of them could be freed of each other. But maybe that was too optimistic. But the Archbishop and Tacitus did their best to help us. I hope you understand now why I put so much faith in the church. That pervert is pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... Here we are. Let's look around and get out as soon as possible. I hate this place. We need to get these cages open.
That's broth. I should have had this city burned to the ground years ago. I swear I'll see him burn for this. It looks like they've been trying to create some kind of amalgamation. 
Their incomprehension and fear lead them to do atrocities. I can only assure you that after they are done, they will know what true terror is. I don't know, maybe. This creature has a destiny ahead of it, though. I can see that much. What? Who are you? How did you get down here? You horrible bastard! What have you done to Baroth? Ah, I see this is about to get violent. Time to test out the other subjects, I think. There must be something we can do to help him, or whoever this creature is now. I suggest moving him to the ship and trying to help him there. The more time we spend here, the more danger we are, and the more helpless he is. <laughs> Baroth, it's all right. You're safe, Baroth. Safe? Where am I? Oh, gods. Oh, what did they do to us? You... You're alive. Oh, old friend. It's been so long. No. I am not Barath. Oh, yes. Or not only him, I feel voices, different minds, talking at the same time. Some of them are terrified, some others angry. Oh, gods, can we leave? I... we very much like to be anywhere else. Of course, my old friend. Let's get you out of here. I've been thinking about the catacombs, especially the terrible things that we have seen. And that for me was not something new. I've spent years, centuries, hiding away, watching my sisters being slaughtered and trying to help from the shadows. I've lost my eyes and suffered torture, but the time has come to end it all. Maybe it was though. For the past 1600 years, I've not taken sufficient measures to eradicate this terror. But I will not stop until I have their hearts in my hand. We can't fix the past. What matters is what we do now. I know I am not the person you remember, but centuries of suffering and torture of my own have given me another perspective. I am wiser than the leader you knew, and I am not afraid to use whatever it takes to help you or mine. So this time, I will go with you. Since Amagin will not be accompanying us on missions, if you can, uh, I would like you to give me the object that belongs to his past self. It will be useful for me to link to him when you change between the eras and receive the information from the past. Stop! Please, don't kill them! These women were just defending themselves. They were scared. Tomas, what are you doing with these witches? I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just trying to help these women. You're smuggling witches out of Compostela. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. I'm glad to hear someone else values the lives of the innocent. Innocent? 
They're witches. They've committed heresy. Only God may judge these women, or any of us for that matter. But I cannot stand by and watch others suffer at the hands of my own faith. You, you're right. What can we do to help? That's a surprise, honestly. But that's what I needed to hear, Isaiah. I always trusted you as my closest friend. I wanted to know your point of view about this. With your support, I'm now certain that I'm on the right path. Hi! Stop! Oh no, my friend! Help the women! All clear for now. I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? So what now? Are you leaving too? No, I'm staying. There are other witches in Compostela who need my help. If you keep this up, they'll catch you eventually. I know, but if I walked away, the cost would be my soul. My God! This is the end! If only I could find... I was thinking of placing it in the portico itself, or right at the base of the Mullion Column, facing the main space, but while I was deciding, someone has stolen my designs, and I won't get the work done in time before the consecration of the cathedral. All my assistant's salaries and my own depend on it. Oh, I would do anything to get it back in time. Would you be so kind as to help me? You look like your luck is with you wherever you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. We have no enemies here. We are all honest workers, and the cathedral is something that will make this city known all over the world. Although, well, maybe in the tavern you can find some clues. They are the only ones who are afraid of this construction. They believe that religion and its commandments are bad for the vice business. The closer to God, the further from the devil, you know. And that, for the dispensers of good liquor and women, is not a good thing. Here, here's my salary for the month. It's all I have, but I'm sure you'll need it to make people talk. Money or a good pint of beer will loosen anyone's tongue. Talk to Iago. He's always in there with his dog next to him. If anyone in the tavern has seen anything, he'll know about it. If you return my parchment intact, I will be eternally grateful to you. And the portico of glory will be finished in time. What do you want, foreigner? Nobody looks at me like that without asking me for something a moment after. I don't want to say that I live here, but the truth is that I spend more time at this table than at home. No wife and children, no water fight. What else am I going to do? 
I haven't seen anyone with such a parchment for a long time. People who can draw or write don't hang around the tavern much. What I have seen is some drunk bragging about being rich for designing the portico of glory in the cathedral over there. He invited everyone for a few rounds and confronted half the people in the tavern. He didn't look like someone to be trusted to build a cathedral, really. Yeah, the problem is that where he's gone, you can't follow him, or at least I wouldn't advise it. I've already told you that he confronted half the tavern, and that, in a place like this, does not bode well for the future. He'll either be up or down. Although, from his attitude, I don't think that St. Peter would open the gates of heaven for him. What you can find, with a little luck, is his body. I imagine it will be the most recent grave in the cemetery. I'm sorry I can't be more help. Good luck to you.
Oh, a miracle. This is a divine sign that we are on the right track. Oh, thank you very much for everything. Now the cathedral will be able to be consecrated with the work finished on time. I know exactly where the bandits are. Innocent people are being attacked and robbed. There must be something you can do. I take it you enjoyed that little spectacle. There's a gang of bandits that's being attacking people along the main road. Last week, they robbed my sister, so I decided to do something about it. I tracked the bandits to their base camp. They haven't even hit it that well. I've tried telling the guards, but they won't do anything. I'd fight them myself. I want to fight them myself, but I can't do it alone. And every time I try to recruit help, they all laugh at me. None of them want a woman leading them into battle. You will? Thank you. The bandit camp is in the woods outside of town. I'll meet you there. What? 